Hello everyone, I am back with another video for you guys. I want to show you how to create templates in GIMP. So you want to download the latest version of GIMP. I am going to pull GIMP up. One moment while Gimp is loading. So these templates can be used for lots of things. You can do sock templates, you can do mug templates, you can do earring templates, whatever it is that you're designing, whatever your craft is, um, you can create templates. Okay, so when you open up Gimp, it looks like this. Um, Right here on the bottom of GIMP, you have different templates. You may have some already uploaded. So there is a Galaxy template. Um, there is an iPhone template. There's all sorts of templates in here. There's even Vistaprint business card templates. I don't know, but there's a toilet paper template in here. <laughs> Um, there's different size paper templates in here. There's all kinds of templates. As you can see, I have my templates here, lighter, cup, mask, things like that. So how to create a template. So you hover your, um, your little icon over these things at the bottom. The first one says create a new image from the selected template, create a new template, duplicate this template, edit this template, and delete this template. If you don't have this on the bottom, you can go right here. There is a little arrow pointing to the left, which is configure this tab. You would go to templates menu and then you would go new template. So let's say I wanted to create mm, a lighter template, which I already have, but I'm gonna show you guys how to create it. So I'm gonna go create a new template. Let's name this lighter one. We want to change our pixels to inches. And for our lighter template, we want to make it 2.75 by 2.75. And then we will go to our advanced options. And right here on the comments, it says created by GIMP. Well, we can put created by touch by an angel or whatever your business name is and click okay you want to make sure it's 300 um, resolution and click okay so that has created your template so how to upload it you would go to file go to new you would select the template from the drop down. You would go to lighter, which is what we just created. There's the measurements. We would click OK. Let's say we wanted to change the color of this. We would click right here. If you wanted to change it to black, we would press OK. And then we would click it and then drag it over to our box and drop it in. Let's say you wanted to do a gradient color. Let's change our second color to blue. We will click OK. Right here, this little checker thing or icon is our gradient tool. So we click the gradient tool, come right here and click on the middle. Hold your mouse down and drag out. So you can move this around. You can stretch it out longer. However, you want your gradient to be. Say you wanted it like that, you would let go of the mouse and click enter, and that will hold the gradient. And say you wanted to add a picture, because you can design straight from here. If they, if they maybe want a custom lighter, then you would go to open as layers, and then you would select your picture, and it would show up here in the layers panel and you would design like any other program. Um, 
Uh, that's a whole nother video, but your layers would pop up right here. And you would do export as a PNG or a JPEG, and you would basically save it. Actually, you want to save it first, then export to wherever you want to export it to, if it's design space or wherever you want to export it to. And that is pretty much it. I hope you all found this video helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment if you like, um, and share. And I hope you guys have a good day.